Hey everyone, Chetna here from me with a pencil and today I'm going to be sharing how to add 3D effects to your letters. Uh, I'm going to be showing three different ways of how to do the shadow effect to your letters in this uh, simple words like letter word high. Okay, so let's get started. For shading or to add shadow, I'm going to be using a few gray pens. You can use any gray pens or you can also experiment with color pens. These are all mostly brush pens and we also need a liner pen, okay? So any, you can also use a normal point liner or, you know, any pen or any pencil to add the shading. And for paper, I'm going to be using JK Sedar paper. So this is a smooth paper as we're going to be working with brush pens. So it's uh, very easy to write on a smooth surface and we need a nice smooth surface on the paper and I've added a line already the guidelines you can also directly do it on the grid paper and uh, try on different papers as well but make sure to add guidelines before so to make your letters look more consistent all right so as we start I'm going to use some color pen to write a letter so I'm going to be using a Tombow dual brush pen so let's start with this color Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating, as you know, three types of shading or you can add shadow to your letters. So there's one way. So I'm going to be writing letter word high. So say you write H. So this is a basic way of your writing word high. So I'm going to be using a very uh, light gray color. You can add any dark color also. This is a warm gray by Koi coloring brush pen. All right. So, so what I'm going to do is as you have to assume where the light is coming from. So for example, so assuming that this light or the sun rays you can say is coming from this angle so we're going to be adding the shadow on the right hand side of all the strokes okay so what we're going to do is you have to assume the shadow on this side so we have to go along with these lines to add that nice shadowy effect so we have to like so it goes from thin to thick right over here so you're gonna just replicate this uh, similar stroke with the gray brush pen so it looks like a shadow so let's start. So I'm going to start with the thin pressure. So it's going to go like this. And you're going to stop here. And you're going to start again from this part. Okay, if you want, you can add similar thickness to it. Or you can also do a less thicker compared to you know, however you like or however you want to give effect. And then... And then you're going to add another thick stroke here. So again, this starts from thin line, then thick, and then again thin. Okay, so it's going to go something like this. So how much ever thickness you had here, make sure you add similar one. Uh, they look similar. And again, now this is also a thick line. So I'm going to start with thick and come towards a thin stroke. Okay, and this is also a small down stroke. Also, I'm going to add a little thickness over here, similar thickness. Okay, now so we added thickness to all the thick strokes. Now let's do it for the thin lines as well. So now this is a thin line. So that means the shadow will fall on this part of the letter. Okay, so you can go up, down, however you like, however you're comfortable using the pen. So this is how it will look. Since this line is thin, make sure. You're adding a thin line and not as thick as this one. Okay. And again from here, thin. So here it ended, so you have to start from here. Alright, something like this, same here. Go along with the lines and somewhere here as well. Something like this. So now you see it looks like you know the shadow has fallen on the word high and it looks kind of kind of 3D also. 
So now I'm going to be using another color, light. So I'm going to show you how to do a basic uh, shading using a liner pen. So liner pen can be anything like this, or you can also use a normal pen or pointed uh, any pen or pencil, regular pen or pencil. All right. So this this is the thin one. You can also use a thick one. Let me check. So this is uh, Faber Castell uh, 0 0.4. Okay. So let's start. Same word. All right. Now, similar to how we did this, you can also add a line with this uh, shading with this part. So here you're going to keep some spacing so uh, so that you know there's some white space in between. So what I'm going to do is as similar to how we did this, we're going to use the same shading side, this side. All right. So assuming the sun or the light is coming from this direction, so I'm going to again keep this little bit little bit of distance like say here and start the stroke okay line okay like this do not touch the inside part of the letters you see it already is giving a depth effect and the same height i'm gonna do it for this line okay so here, I shouldn't have added the line over here because this is going to come and touch over here. So anyway, so we we'll just continue it from here, keeping the similar distance. Make sure that the distance is similar. Okay, something like this. And then we're going to add another line from here. Okay. And you're going to go this, keeping similar distance. Come here again. Do not enter in this part of this uh, letter. And then similar to how this is going slant. So you have to also take the slant direction. And add a nice line, extend the line from there, and again, similar where this ends, you have to start the another line from here, so shading. Okay, so same here with this one. So, how it looks? Looks like 3D letters, right? Just ignore this part of the letter. Otherwise, yeah, it should look something like this. Didn't it look add a nice uh, highlight to the letter? So this can be fun if you're writing some headings or, you know, like a topic of the artwork. So, you know, it looks very nice. So for the third one, what I'm going to do is we're going to combine these two uh, methods of adding 3D effect and it's going to look something really different. Okay. So though it, they are similar method, but when you add both of them together, it looks really different and it looks interesting. Okay, I'm going to be using another color for Tombow, from Tombow. So again, it's the same word. Make sure if you are new to calligraphy or you have started doing brush calligraphy recently, you can check out my some beginners tutorials on brush calligraphy um, on our channel. I will link it to the top right corner of this video or you can also check out the description below. So the next one is we are going to use a very light grey colour. So I am going to be using this Tombow dual brush pen. So it is a soft tip. A gray brush pen it has an another side of black black color also so you can use any gray color that you have so I want to add a little less thickness so what you can do is similarly apply the same method here okay the light is coming from this side 
So same thing, I'm going to start with thin. Then I'm going to add thick. Then again thin. Here I'm going to add thin. Thick. Yeah. Make sure to always release the pressure. Wherever there's a thin line, come towards thin, thick and then again thin. Okay, towards this compound curve. And thin again. And more. Like this. Alright. Okay. Good amount of grey shade. And here as well. So I've covered all the part of the letter word high in the gray shades. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take again the liner pen, point liner. So now I'm going to be adding next to it like how you remember we kept the space on this part. The same thing you're going to do but we're going to go right next to this gray lines. All right. One. Two, go slowly, slowly, make sure to concentrate on your letters. And three, okay. And again, start from this corner. So now both the uh, shadows are added like you see here the black shadow and this. So how different it looks yet it looks you know like a 3D effect to the letter. There's a gray, gray shadow then there's again a black line. So this area represents like you know more darker depth uh, towards that letter or towards that shadow. So this is how this like a very simple way of adding your 3D letters not too complicated very simple. You just have to follow some rules uh, going with the strokes and you know going slowly with the stroke understanding the um, pattern of the stroke. Like where it is thin add thin strokes where it is thick you can add thick strokes. So I hope you enjoyed and like this very simple techniques of adding shadows to your letters. Uh, this is a very simple technique. So if you want to explore more and if you'd like to see more of how to add, you know, 3D effects or more complex shading effects, please let me know in the comments below. I will definitely try to work on it and share with you guys. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, let me know if you have any suggestion of any kind of tutorial that you are looking for uh, related to calligraphy or watercolors. We'll uh, try to, uh, you know, add in to our playlist as well. So hope to see you soon and see you next week. Thank you so much.